All right, I'm back. Uh, super duper busy day, um, not only in the kitchen, but in the house. Everybody seems to be home today. So trying to get this done in between and everything else. I did go ahead and melt some chocolate. Uh, probably not gonna be enough. Uh, first priority, I guess, is to fix these. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal these ones. Like I said, probably not enough, but we'll go for it. see what happens. Um, and as you can see with these ones, um, they're probably ready, except I found a couple of little spots um, where we're gonna get some leakage from. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out. I think and we're gonna see uh, which ones we're not gonna sell and I'm gonna eat and share with my friends and family are we ready I'm like super excited this is like the best part of the entire process you see how they just fall right out that's what these polycarbonate molds and that's what I love about them so much is that when they're tempered and they're properly oh my goodness oh you gotta see this we're gonna leave that one in there look at the shine on these bonbons or on these pralines or whatever we're gonna call them they turned out so shiny and so beautiful you kind of don't want to eat them or you kind of do um so i'm gonna find one of those leaky ones it's kind of leaky but they're so shiny, like I don't know, it's, wow. I, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, and that's what happens when they run through that melanger um, or refiner. There's one that's leaky, we're gonna eat that one. Uh, when they run through that, when it runs through that machine for a long time, um, that's how you're gonna end up with a shiny chocolate. It's smooth. Oh my goodness, I am in heaven at the moment. Okay, so not only is it super shiny, but let's see what happens when we cut into it. It holds together beautifully and it's not oozing out. So as you can see, that looks pretty good. Um, it's got a nice bottom to it, except for some spots. I'm gonna fix the ones that are leaky as best I can, but cheers. Mmm. And I've got one of my sons here. I'm going to get him to sample. Dad? Dad? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Dad? The, white, the flavor with the white chocolate and the caramel and the peanuts is really 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 good um i'm ex extremely happy with how they turned out i'm definitely going to um i'm gonna do that recipe again it's uh white chocolate or cocoa butter candy is really not very popular um when i was a kid it was my favorite chocolate but not very popular. So what I've done is um, I'm gonna add to my collection and I'm gonna put these in blue. I'm not sure why, I may change it later, but in order for these to fit is you've gotta fold them in half. So I just do a little bit of a crease there and then they'll just sit right in nicely. So, and I add. I'm trying to do some colorful paper. I've got some purples and some oranges um, and yellow. But I think by far these are the these are by far the shiniest ones I've done. They turned out very shiny. And that's my goal. Um, and I mean I'm always surprised when I make chocolates and they actually look good. Um, and taste good. So far I haven't had any that weren't, but I'm super excited about these. Um, and if you look here, we do have an air bubble. 
which is okay. I'm not even checking the bottoms for leaks. If I pick it up and it's sticking to the bottom, I might do something, but I don't think they're gonna be horrible because they are gonna be in a pan and they're not all gonna leak out. Um, or they're in paper. So it's not going to hurt it. Um, but yeah. I am so happy about how they turned out. I can't even believe it. Definitely going to have some very happy moms for Mother's Day, hopefully. Um, and any of you moms that got to eat these, thank you. Uh, thank you, children, or your husbands for getting them for you. And um, I want to personally thank you and hope you enjoy them. If you don't, definitely let me know. If you're not satisfied, I will refund the money or I, I will give you um, some other chocolate in return, uh, whatever you would like. I don't want any unhappy customers. Um, and also, happy Mother's Day. You should have yummy things and I think that my chocolates are yummy. Oh boy, oh boy, these are good. I am saving that for my son, or one of my sons. Maybe my husband, or my other son. He's all home today. But, yeah, this is, um, I think this is probably the best part of the job. The demolding and then to see the actual finished product because when you look underneath the molds you can't tell that they look shiny you can't tell if they're got holes in them or what right but you can definitely tell when you flip them over that one is a little bit mm, that's probably one that i'll let somebody sample and these ones that don't have much chocolate that one especially, I really like that one. These ones are, meh, we'll probably let somebody taste test those ones, but I really think that one's kind of cute. I'd like to do some cool ones with the eyeball effect in them. Um, I'm, I've seen some done and they're super cool. I think for Halloween, these are probably going to be um, very popular. That's what I plan to do for Halloween. Um, I'm kind of, I've been watching lots of videos. I'm, all this stuff, by the way, is self-taught. I taught myself how to do these bonbons um, just by watching videos and reading. Um, I've learned so much about chocolate in itself. And of course, all this chocolate is made from the cocoa bean. Okay, these ones aren't because um, they're white chocolate. But they're made from cocoa butter from Venezuela. The chocolate itself, um is made from the bean. So, all right, we got one more mold, one more paper. Let's get another one out. And that fit nicely in my little treat box for when I do the packaging. Um, when I do the boxes, then I have a variety to choose from and then I don't miss any or forget any. Uh, I've just got a roll of these for now. I do want to get some fancier ones um some with different colors but for now um just coloring because uh, sometimes presentation sometimes if the bonbons aren't enough presentation we want to add something else to it so all right those are done let's check on the chocolate i assume it's going to take a while to temper it was pretty warm um, and we also left one bonbon out, and one praline out. <gasps> oh, that one's so pretty too. Okay, so we'll get that one boxed up as well. They, I think they all turned out quite well. I'm not overly concerned about leakage, as I said before. Um, but these raspberry ganache ones, I definitely do need to seal up very well. Um, all right. Should have enough bonbons and pralines and chocolatey goodnesses um, to go around. So 
Um, because I have a store that I'm selling my chocolate in, so I have two weeks in that store uh, to keep my Mother's Day stuff stocked. I'm also doing a market um, Thursday afternoon evenings for the next two weeks before Mother's Day, and then I have a Mother's Day market in town here. So I have a lot of opportunities to sell um, the chocolate. It's going to be a matter of whether or not people buy them. So I'm going to be doing little videos, um, pictures, posting them on social media. So if you are in Lethbridge, if you are close to Lethbridge, if you are in and around um, and watching this before Mother's Day and you want to get something for your mother or your mom and you think you deserve to spoil yourself, because I think you do, um, then go ahead go on down to the Purple Hippo in Lethbridge downtown. Um, it's on 6th Street just off of 3rd Avenue. It's a cute little shop and it has all kinds of things made from most of the stuff or a lot of the stuff um, is handmade local here in the city or um, surrounding areas. So definitely check them out. I got this apron there, which I love. It's dirty right now. Also got these, which are like paper towels, but reusable. Um, so when I'm in the kitchen, apron goes on and one of these goes in my pouch. So I use that to dry my hands. So I know it's only been used by me for one purpose. So that's what I strive to do. Um, make sure that Everything is clean, sanitized, all the surfaces, everything. I um, wash my hands a thousand times a day. So, I'm going to have to see where we're at with the tempering. Um, another thing I was doing too, or wanted to do, was some of these flower molds. Um, I did it for my daughter um, for her 19th birthday. Um, I made some chocolate and just did a thin layer on the bottom and they turned out absolutely beautiful. The detail is phenomenal. So um, I think that's actually what I'm gonna do with this stuff here. Because when I melt it all, we've got that raspberry ganache in there. We got all kinds of flavors and colors going on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and melt that and then I'm gonna fill these. And I'm hoping that when I stir it, that some of the color kind of feathers through. I also have this here, which is the melting mask from earlier. So I'm going to add that to it. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Now I know. Um, I also have some, um, some of my signature berry chocolate that I had tried to do mom letters with that um, I ended up putting in the fridge and forgot about. So it separated. But I'm going to, I think, melt this down and swirl it or do some kind of design, uh, maybe even the centers. And then, yeah, I'll probably just do the centers just as a pretty kind of thing. Um, so when I do the gift boxes for mom, some of them are gonna have a flower in the center. And then I'll have the various bonbons around um, to give a nice little gift box. Uh, I know people don't always like to give just one thing. Um, or like, you know, give a variety, right? Instead of just one little chocolate. So I'm going to, um, oh, looks like we're tempered. So let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm gonna see, I think I'm only gonna do the ones that kind of look like they're not completely sealed. Oh, I lost some of them. I guess. I don't know, I think once I spread it out and should be okay. Um, this is a lot thinner, so it's gonna go a whole lot nicer. I didn't really clean off any of my scrapers very well. This one's actually cleaned off not bad, so I have to use this one. Um, but right now I'm just kind of gonna cover. Cover, cover, cover. Cover, cover. Um, without pulling, I don't want to pull up, and that's the hard part when you're doing this is it's such a delicate balance and not, yeah, I pulled 
myself already I have it um, of course I am using this to seal the others as well which I can actually start doing now um, because it is tempered I want to do it fairly quickly and I don't have a lot of time I don't have a lot of this either so um, I'm not gonna have enough I don't think to do this whole thing but um, but I can melt more and that's the great thing about having chocolate is I have quite a bit of chocolate on hand quite a bit of stock um, I'm not selling really much of anything right now yet although um, I've only done one market and been in the store for only a couple of weeks I haven't checked on the store this week so I'm not sure um, if anything is sold okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off so that should have just filled in all those little cracks and then I'm going to carry it right over to this part and I'm going to see it's too thick. I don't want to chance it. I'm not going to try to spread that around. But I am going to shake, shake, shake what's here, spread a little bit of that. Um, and what's hardened, I'm going to scrape off. So I'm just actually, I'm going to play it safe with this one. And I'm just going to scrape all this off. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to fill in those gaps. I'm going to melt it and re-pour, um, but we'll definitely have enough. So that makes me happy. Um, once again, I'm going to go over this. Scrape it down really good. And we've got all of that done. I've got one little tiny hole here that I can fill very easily. And... I also have a guinea pig here that's going to try that have a praline. So my son Austin is going to eat that praline. And if he doesn't spit it out, then we're Very good. good. Perfect. There we go. That's what I like to hear. He knows if he says anything else, he's grounded. Oh. At oh. 20. But no, it's actually really good. Good. I like it. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this down, and then we can fill that. We're at the home stretch, so I'm just gonna let that white chocolate in there because why not mix it up a little bit? All right, we're at the home stretch. We're almost done. Let's see if we can get through the last little bit. I'll be back in a minute to get it going again. 